Oh, hi kids. What was that? That sounded abrupt, huh? Yeah, that was weird. I guess we're okay. I panicked. I couldn't press Can the record button down? on the fucking <laughs> on the computer quick Just enough. Just stay like I mean, that. Dude, I, my toe was wrapped in the cord to my headphone. Hi. Look at the tufts of cat hair on your knee. Girl. <laughs> nothing. Disgust. Shit. Hmm. What a week. What a fucking week. What a fucking week. I feel like since we went to that cabin with my mom like five weeks ago, a a month ago probably, Mm. uh, that like everything's just been nonstop. Like I haven't had a moment to breathe and like what a week. It's what a week. Yeah. Three days in or something. Four days. And it feels like four weeks. Since Sunday, like, (coughs) excuse me, yesterday was the first time I ate a meal like an actual meal since Sunday. This um, one. I had a lot going on. I felt like I was going to die. And like, I'm not even being dramatic. It was too much. No, um, I'm, I'm laughing, but I thought, I need help. I want you to get situated. I need God. <laughs> Fuck. I can't. Okay. I think I made it, you guys. Um, I'm laughing, but I thought for a minute we were going to take you to fucking ER. I was crying because I thought I had to go. So Sunday, you know, um, we had two two shows back to back on Saturday and Sundays when we did our live shows. Yeah. And they were great. Um, I was drinking Bloody Mary's. I wasn't drunk, I won't say, I'll say. But like Sunday, I continued drinking and like... um, You really like to press it. I want to say I was kind of drunk maybe when i left on sunday night because i had another yes. one after everybody was gone and we were like <laughs> cleaning up i had another one and so someone pointed out to me like you had like five drinks before 11 p.m they're like you had 16 bloody marys no i had like five before before no four or five before yeah. 11 p.m um and then i i went out that night and so i continued drinking i want to say i had like two more drinks or maybe three at the first place see i want to get this figured out because i started to accuse the first place we went to of dosing me because there's been rumors of other people i know that have had one drink there and blacked the fuck out and like woke up somewhere and shit and so i was like you know i heard they be kind of putting shit in their alcohol sometimes like i've heard of people Not every time because my friend has parties there every week, but I have heard of a couple instances where people have blacked out off very little alcohol at that place. So at first I was all accusatory and I was like going to blame them. Right. But then my friend was like, well, maybe you just drank too much. You did have like five before 11 and then kept it going. Maybe it's you. And then we went to an after hours and I don't have any recollection. Oh my God. But... That's a little scary. I didn't even tell you all this. Um, They had to like carry me out and put me in the car. And my car is like raised up. You can lower it, but I wasn't in a position to tell them that. (laughs) But my car is like raised up um, because I like to pretend I'm a monster truck. And they struggled to get me in, lift me into the car and um and we know you weren't driving no and i have no recollection of like like i remember being at the after hours but i don't know anything and that's a scary ass feeling yeah um because the shit that i was told the next day that i did was like wow bitch like that's not a good look you were lifting up your dress i was just i didn't want to dress anymore thank god i changed i put on jeans i took that dress off good um so i had on jeans and like a little jacket and like a wife beater but like i was doing a lot i was doing too much in the bathroom i was like wow crying to my friend at one point about how much i care about her and i want better for her and like i do remember crying i want you to go home I need to stay home. Um, When people get to that fucking point when they start crying. But I was in the bathroom. It gives me. um, I I get all weird because 
emotional drunks are the worst. Well, so for you flood. to be an emotional drunk, you had to be really drunk. So yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you. It was a flood. It was like emotional throwing up. Like it just came out and it was like I had been holding it in for the past two weeks i'd say like things i wanted to say but i was like nah i'm gonna mind my business whatever and then when i let it go i just let it all go and it came out too much (laughs) but you know um at least she was like damn well she needed to hear it though no i agree when i can you know whatever it was in the bathroom thank god um and then i don't know how long we were there i do remember getting drinks there it was a cute little after hours in oakland we didn't get bipped thank god um but we left there and then at some point like i got taken home thank god people put me in my bed and like those are good friends but when i woke up the next day i was so fucking sick and like had no memory of anything so i was scared and i was hella sick and like couldn't zofran wasn't helping nothing was helping um thank god uh my son's girl is like a nurse she came through she hooked me up with ivs and like um more zofran yeah and more zofran it wasn't helping i felt so bad because she was at my house for like four hours i came and- by monday morning and at like 10 30 and i was like hey we gotta go over blah 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 and she was just in the bed like i can't i can't yeah like, that couldn't even open her happen. eyes i'm like here i'm gonna leave you zofran and pepsi take these i couldn't even look at my phone no and so like open my eyes to read text so like by monday night i think i finally checked my text messages I was like, and take there was benadryl there was people like I know you seen my text 11 hours ago like and I'm and you know even if I don't feel good I I reply and I'll say that no I yeah. couldn't even my phone was gone yeah. in the house somewhere like I couldn't even open my eyes like that the only thing that helped was the Benadryl that you recommended because by that night around midnight I was crying and I was like I'm gonna have to go to the hospital because it's not stopping I couldn't hold down spit so like water was not a thing thank god I got hydrated with the ivs but other than that and then just like my body was just expelling anything in it so the number one this is what mom told me the number one med that they give um you know chemo can make you really nauseated um and so when children are like that um their number one nausea med they give is benadryl I wish I would have thought. Well, I, the universe is what left it at my house. Yes. This is so weird. Yeah. When I was digging through my purse. She I, came that morning and like, we didn't get anything done. I was like, you can leave. Like, you don't, I don't even I know why you're coffee. here. I was a nice friend. Yeah, I was like, put it in the fridge. I can't even look at that. The thought of the coffee was making me throw up. Dude. So I'm digging and with the, the purse we have, there's like this matching like makeup bag and I pulled mine out, which is full of medication. <laughs> and what lip gloss Mm -hmm. and i put it on the floor while i was digging out the zofran and shit and then i left and i was like oh shit i left my bag there so then later that night i was like mom said take benadryl and you're like i don't have any i'm like and i thought it was too late to door dash anything or whatever because like where i live it's hard getting stuff to delivered there for some reason and then they don't be showing up and shit so i'm like i'm not gonna get any so i was like freaking out and then you remembered the bag was there and i was like oh my fucking god there was literally two doses in there and i was like that get was it the out. only thing i took one and i got in the bath and i was like nodding out like heroin nod in the bath and i was like i gotta get out or i'm gonna fucking whitney Drown. houston <laughs> so i got out i just got in bed naked i, I told bunny like like you got to keep peace because i can't like you know yeah and i just got in bed and turned on my fan and passed out and finally was able it was so bad i couldn't even sleep but then what was more fucked up is like then i think there was a stomach thing going on on top of it because like yeah. he's had an upset stomach monday night i think and then the next day so tuesday i'm still throwing up and i still can't eat and like now sorry i have like diarrhea (laughs) yeah like my body hates me like what can i do to get this under control oh my god just like suffering non-stop suffering um and i was finally yeah i was finally able to eat something yesterday so that's cool i'm glad fucking you're better yeah today i'm having coffee and like i missed it and just way better yeah Uh, the live shows were great they were great. It was a really, 
really good fucking yeah. time. Yeah, it was. And I, as scared and anxious as I was, it wasn't bad. Like Mm-mm. once we got in there, I think I, you know, I got like more at ease. I think it was a really um, good number of people. Mm-hmm. We, there was probably like maybe 125 mm-hmm. and um, per night. And it was just really fucking. It was yeah. Just a really fucking good time. Good crowd participation. Yes. Good um, interactions. Interactions with everybody. Like no bullshit going None. on. No like drama. No fights or anything. Like <laughs> everyone was, was really nice. Yeah, it was really fucking nice. I was so happy. I was thinking we should do like a holiday party. Yeah. If you're down for that. A holiday live show? A holiday, yeah. yeah. A holiday live show. Because people are already messaging, like, I'm hella fucking mad one? I didn't make it. Saying, well, some people are like, I can't wait to come back for another one. Yes. And then there's a lot of people, even some that I personally know, that just didn't get a chance to get tickets. And they're like, am I going to have to wait five years again for you right. guys to do And I'm like, no, I was actually, like, thinking already. It went so well. I a was holiday like, one would be cute. Yeah, even if we did it, like, twice a year. It just went so well. Well, yeah yeah it, it was very smooth the our friend that has the venue which if you guys are in the bay area and you're looking for a venue definitely hit them up they have a bar great. inside the venue and it's very private and it has parking and it's just great it's in the cut um but he made a point like we need a bigger space yeah he we was do. like he was like i love having y'all but you guys definitely need bigger yeah. space we can't keep spreading shit out over the course of like four days. Yeah, it would have been nice to just do one day, you know what I mean? Yeah. And get it and fit everyone and like get it done. But it was still nice. Yes, I just want to say one thing. If you go somewhere with your people, especially oh. as women, right? Come on, dude. I don't care. It shouldn't even have to be said, but we're going to fucking say it. I don't care if your friend pisses you off, y'all get in a fight. I don't fucking care. You go together, you leave together, and if y'all never want to talk to each other again after that, that's fine, but don't leave your people places. Do not. And that happened to multiple people. Yes. I I only know of two. Yes. I hope that's it, but like, don't you ever leave nobody and you know they're hella fucked up drunk. Dude. Um, That's cause to get your ass whooped, like for real. Um. If somebody left one of my kids somewhere or like, you know, I've had friends, trust me, that have drove me fucking nuts. Actually, I have left friends before, but I left them in a group. So like at least. And you let other people in the group know? Yeah, yeah. And I left two people together. That's different. So that was different um, because I knew they could have managed. But like you don't leave like I've complained before about my girl that likes to freestyle and shit out of nowhere and it gets all (laughs) weird. I can't count how many times I've been like, girl, I will put you out the car. But like, honestly, I will not like I'll get her somewhere i'm not gonna fucking leave nobody no at a venue where you don't know people this your first time here this ain't even where you're from and i and i get that the hello dysfunction um we are pretty much safe community we all look out for each other but don't do that don't 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 do that people also here's something else i want to say because I got a little bit uncomfortable. You almost got raped. Is no, that what you were going to yes. say? Oh, okay. yes. So when we get drunk, right? <laughs> because here's what I was thinking about. If that was a man, my brothers would have fucking snatched oh, them yeah, up in a heartbeat. True. true. I, I don't know. Don't get so drunk that you get rapey with yeah, me. Yeah. It was a, it was a couple women actually. Yes. That, um, and I, I encouraged it because I'm you were just drunk. an asshole and I was drunk. And so I was, and I wouldn't let it go too far. I right. was right there. I was screaming, laughing, but like she wasn't touching you. So I was like, that would have been different. No, they just kept but, getting like this and, and their boobs telling were her, touching my boobs. And telling her like, um, <laughs> one of them, her man was right there and was like encouraging it too. And was like, yeah, she's like that. Like she'll do it. And she's I'm like, like, I'm, not. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not at all. <laughs> I love women. They're beautiful. But you don't want to fuck them. No. No. Guys, don't do that. Like, you know, because if it was a fucking dude that kept fucking. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Pushing up. Like, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, don't leave your people. I don't know. uh, Stay in your dance space. I'll stay in mine. (laughs) We're going to do it like that. And we'll be all good. Yeah. But it was a great time. Great crowd. We got the most 
amazing gifts from people i haven't even finished opening shit i just looked right now when i was getting we got some decor for the studio and i was getting some shit out of my back seat which is still not cleaned out adolf is back there my cabbage patch baby <laughs> from the 80s that i got um and i still have a bag with like a, an outfit for peas i saw yes. and like some other things i didn't even get to yet so like the amazing personal personalized gifts the that we got it took yeah. to make some a lot of made oh. shit hand made shit for us this and is just, one yeah nice the nicest things like thank you so much that shit is hella thoughtful hella thoughtful i just i had a really good time i, I did too yeah. it, it was like nice to feel loved like that yeah. and everybody was all together like that on the same page you know yeah i was telling her today i was listening to the live show on patreon and when we walk out and everybody screams, it all like made me teary eyed. I can't listen to it. I was it like, this is I the sweetest cringy, fucking shit. Yeah, it was very sweet. Yeah. And then I was like, your laugh, her laugh is so great. It's really contagious. And she was drunk. So it was like extra <laughs> laughy. Um, but her laugh is so great. So I texted her being a nice me. friend and was like, your laugh is so great. And she's like, stop flirting with me. <laughs> At that point, I hope you get diarrhea again. Stop trying you're a to bitch. fuck me. Like, we just talked about that. <laughs> Don't be rapey. <laughs> Don't be rapey. Get off my phone now. <laughs> Enough. No, it was, <laughs> it was Stupid nice. Ass. Um, it, I just want to say thank you to Nations. Oh, my God. Yes. That's such a flex. I didn't even realize yes. how much of a flex that is, but it really is. Like, I yes. mean, I thought it was just a personal flex for us, like, because we have been Nations family Lovers members for forever. so long, our whole lives. But no, everybody else was so impressed by that, too. So thank you for, like, helping us show off a little bit and, like, do that. Like, yeah. that was fucking amazing. Sunday show, Nation showed up and served pies to everyone. And we even had enough to take home. And they brought us chili cheese fries. <gasps> chili in the cheese back. fries, yes. The kids ate one of them. Mm -hmm. Rude. But that was great. So fucking nice. Mm -hmm. So nice. And uh, sorry, Mel, I'm fucking busting you out. Fucking who? <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Melissa, who? family friend that showed up drunk oh yeah. And then yeah. missed the whole show. Girl, I, and and the, the next day I kept thinking, you know, I watched her and then now look at me. Now it's me. Now it's you. Now it's me. It's coming out of everywhere. It's don't feel bad, girl. No. Don't. Like, I'm sorry it happened at the, at the party, but, you know. And let me say, though, she came with some really fucking good she friends. She got some real friends. Because yeah. when she started throwing up, girl, not a drop got on the floor. They fucking caught that shit. Yeah. Like, those I are good friends. I thought she threw up on the floor when I first heard because I was outside. And so I asked William, I was like, do you think they have sawdust like they used to in elementary school? Yeah, and litter. they would dump it on the puke and sweep it. And he's crying, laughing. And, but no, she, it didn't even hit the floor. So. Nope. Yeah. You no, know, your friends had your back for sure. Yeah. That's a, that's a fucking good group of yeah. friends right there. Yeah. Um, but it was a good time. Thank you guys again for yeah, coming. And thank you. Showing and if love. you, if you didn't get to come and, and, you know, you wrote to us and like sent us encouragement and shit anyway, I appreciate that too. Cause I got hella fucking messages from people that couldn't make it, but like still sent so much support. The other thing that, um, about the live shows that was really impactful. I think this is the number one takeaway that stuck with me was, quite a few people stood up and approached us um i was gonna say secretly but it wasn't a secret but mm -hmm. approached us just us and told us um i know like you guys know what you have but i don't think you understand the impact you have because of you i didn't kill myself because yeah. of this community mm -hmm. like that's fucking huge like saying how encouraged they felt just like with mental health with yes. postpartum like i had people explain that like very Break personal ups. yeah very personal situations to us um that like i'm so happy we were able to help with without even knowing you know like and i i just tell everybody i just i'm glad and it makes me happy because i know how much i needed and wanted that yes. when, we, when we were growing up and i acted out in different ways because i didn't have that yeah and I could have prevented like a lot of heartache along the way. I think if I did have good examples of like people, you know, just admitting there that we have the same problems. Right. Um, 
I forget who it was that came up to me fucking yesterday and was had said something and yesterday. Yeah, not from the show, but oh. mentioning the show was talking to me about it yesterday. I can't remember who it was. I'm but like, who were you hanging out with? <laughs> no, girl, John, <laughs> <laughs> my client. Right. <laughs> I, actually, that's who I was telling. Oh. Um, you know, growing up, like everything was such a fucking secret. Mm-hmm. Like I thought I had the only mentally ill dad in the fucking world. Mm-hmm. You know, for sure. I just so that was pretty fucking impactful to hear yeah <clears throat> um well, i have huge news together. you guys what huge fucking news it required a three punch in my hand what richard did ancestry bitch you listen to me motherfuckers listen, you listen right fucking the world is now. gonna make sense once i reveal this <laughs> listen please I screamed in my room. So did I. I fucking <laughs> was like, I have to text her immediately. I was like, Bunny, read this. Just read it. Just read oh, this. <laughs> my fucking God. You guys, Richard is a Neanderthal <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> We're not saying it to just be funny. He is 2% Neanderthal. And it shows this caveman monkey man. Like yes. This. And he has more Neanderthal he, in him than 78% of the population. That's a lot, bitch. Yes. You are a fucking caveman from the Caucasus Mountains. No wonder no you wonder, hit stuff. No wonder you punch windshields. No you wonder you people. talk through your teeth. Yeah. No wonder you go into these rages and fucking go like this. Like no that's, wonder you can't built help it. Like a giant. It's in your DNA. Isn't yes. that fucking hilarious? Oh, your I, brother is Neanderthal, he's bitch. He's a fucking Neanderthal. <laughs> so now i'm like i really have to do mine you have to i want to know where that came from did he do 21 in me he did 23 in me 20 20, 20, 21 21 in me 21 (laughs) he did that okay because um i I was gonna say ancestry tells you what parent each thing comes from i don't know if they do no so that'll be cool when my mom did her dna she didn't have neanderthal I'm ignorant to this, but isn't Neanderthal only man? No, Neanderthal early man? was yeah. Neanderthal <laughs> With the was protruding. Part. No, Neanderthal was early human, human. species. So. Half ape. Yes. <laughs> okay. Got it. Um, <laughs> really strong ooh, from the ooh, mountains. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my fucking so, god. The hunter gatherers. Um. So I'm assuming it must come from dad's side somewhere how because it doesn't skip generations right how do you know i skipped italian i don't know i skipped italian from my mom's side like i don't have it yeah but what i'm saying is like my grandma like say my grandpa my grandpa can't have it and then my dad not and then rich have it right it can't happen like that right um it could have came from your mom's side maybe but mom mom doesn't have any neanderthal bunny has something more i think like bunny has more german than me or something like from my mom's side really yeah so like it it can pull differently like that so how i don't know but i remember her having more of something than me that's crazy Mm -hmm. i'm gonna do ancestry i'm okay meant to pick a kid up today but we're recording so i'm gonna do it in the morning (laughs) um and i'm gonna do it we're gonna find out why you hate shoes right (laughs) what the fucking fuck more than 70 something percent of the human population he has more like that's craziness yes i'm gonna change his name in my phone to early man he has 11 percent italian yeah i was surprised to see irish my mom so the irish comes from my mom's side my mom's mom and richard actually pulled like 52 percent a lot yeah a lot which is crazy yeah and i know mine is going to be a little different Mm -hmm. and will's is going to be different as well because we're all um we all have different skin tones and we all you yeah know, i feel like you and will look a little more alike than i feel like richard stands out or it could be the rage i don't know <laughs> could be the neanderthal <laughs> it's i don't probably know that. i don't know um will and i i think look more alike our skin coloring is different so i'm really curious yeah, to see um the different you know we have greek mm-hmm. there's greek and there's um 
Oh, there's a few other things. I want to see what all Richard pulls that you don't pull. Yeah. And, and you know. Vice. Yeah. I'm so Will I'm needs to do one, too. I'm excited to do that. Will posted. Did you see what he posted yesterday? Yes. I told him drink it. And you he stopped responding why? to me. He was like, I'm done. I'm too tired for this shit. What? Um, My throat just made a noise. So what happened with Will's leg is originally he tore the calf muscle from the bone. There's a tear. Ugh. And so the first MRI they did... Um, I, if you guys haven't, if you don't know, Will has been on crutches and um, he was in a wheelchair at the show. Yeah. His leg has been really bad for almost a, probably like three weeks, almost a month. Has it been that long? Yeah. It was before we oh. went to the zoo. Oh, you're right. So, um, the first MRI they did like two and a half, three weeks ago, like right after it happened, um, they only did it from like here down. So mm -hmm. they were able to see part of the tear. Mm -hmm. But that was it. Um, but Will, his calf and his ankle have been really swollen still. It's, it's still not getting bruised. better. Yeah. No, um, he can't. He, he could. He hasn't even been able to bend his knee. So it's been really fucking bad. If anyone bumps it, like I seen Will have tears come down. Oh, God. So uh, my mom was insisting on another MRI, a higher up one. Thank God. She's like, something else, like something's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out, so he got an MRI two days ago. Within two hours of that MRI, the Kaiser had called him and said, you have an appointment tomorrow at ortho, in ortho. Like you have to come in tomorrow. What they found on that MRI <clears throat> was not only a tear, a tear that can't be surgically repaired. It has to heal on its own. But he had a six-inch hematoma in there. Is that a fluid pocket? Blood. I know it's a pocket, right? Because I know you can get those after surgery yep. and seromas and shit, and you can push them and see, like you know, that's why it's so important to compress and shit to yep. to keep those from forming. Um, but like, is it a so it's a blood pocket? It's or? basically a blood pocket, and part of it in there is clotted. <gasps> so they were able to extract. Yeah, they had to use a big ass needle and go in and extract two. It looked ounces. like black blood. Yeah, it was black. It was disgusting. And I told him drink it and he stopped responding to me. So they were able to pull out two ounces. But what's been happening because that's in there is it fills back up. Uh, yeah. So it so a few things. So it's been six inches is fucking huge. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's pressing on the torn fucking muscle. Keeping it causing from attaching. It to swell. Right. The mm -hmm. other thing is they don't know if it's stopped bleeding yet. So he's going to have to go back in. And have it fucking done again. Aren't MRIs not good to keep getting back to back? No, no. Check the hematoma. See if they can extract more blood. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to scan it again. No. No. But hmm. after having that done yesterday, he can finally bend his knee. Yeah. He said it's a million times better. So yes. thank God. Um, yes. That's so gross. It's pretty and I'm rough glad injury. he was able Yeah, I'm glad he was able to take a picture of it. It looks so disgusting. It looks like tar or yeah. something in a fucking I would have wanted to squirt it in the toilet and shit and like look at it. Yeah. Because remember when I had a um drains and it looked like spaghetti in oh, there. Oh god, sometimes? that was so gross. It was the most disgusting shit ever. That was fucking gross. Yeah. I was like, bodies are the most nasty. They're so shit we're ever. aliens. We're disgusting like, why is aliens. Blood noodles coming out. Blood noodles, flesh color color blood noodles oh, in god. my in my bulb. That was yeah fucking gross disgusting shit um something else that's disgusting that um well first of all i want to say r.i.p Pee Wee herman yeah paul rubens yeah. he got such a fucked up rap that fucked his career and he was such a handsome smart creative like Do you know he was involved uh, heavily in cat rescue an animal lover <laughs> That's what fucking matters most to me. I'm like, do you know I don't care about that part of his life? I do. But oh. he, for those that don't know, he had got caught whacking it in an adult theater. Where you should be whacking it. Right. He was alone. With, it was an adult theater. Right. That's where you're supposed to whack it. The other fucked up thing is, is they tried to say... <clears throat> that he was caught with child porn they tried to make it, make it look all pedophile-ish and it was not it was vintage erotic art which was actually really fucking cool to whack off to charges were dropped mm -hmm. he but was by then his career was already right. smeared like he got fucked over yeah just fucked over and 
he had been battling cancer for like six years and didn't say anything and so sad i know and then angus cloud from yeah euphoria yeah it's very sad about him i have a lot of friends that know him personally Same. and i didn't realize that um he did cre- d- gr- can i talk he did graffiti Crystal, get it together yeah i didn't realize and um i found that out and just like such a creative kid but also like depressed let you that know? go like, to show you you can have fame fortune yeah and mental illness doesn't fucking care it doesn't discriminate it goes mm-hmm. to who at rich people poor people whoever like you would some people are like oh he like traveled the world and did it does not fucking did matter you see what like, method man just came out and said that he's not sexy that he battles depression all the time I saw him say that he's He's tired of being, he's not a sex symbol because he's not doing anything to be called that. So stop calling him that. And he's, and then, um, he said he battles depression. Yeah. So mental illness is real. And it's just like, um, I don't want to say it's comforting at all, but it's just like, at least we're not fucking solo weirdos that have to (laughs) battle with weird chemical shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it literally affects everyone. So like, let's um destigmatize getting help and like you know trying to get better and stop trying to struggle with it on your own and suffering quietly and you know yeah as i sit here and pick the skin off my fingers every video i watch back that we record are you picking the whole fucking time i don't even realize i'm going like this the whole fucking time it's all right yeah um but Um, what was disgusting um is the stuff that's coming out about lizzo oh she's in my notes bitch okay the nerve the motherfucking nerve of you so you know a few years ago on the show i mentioned her i was a big fan always been supportive Mm -hmm. you know i've always had a weird vibe and i've never been a fan but i didn't really know why i just liked the body positivity that's what it was i felt like you're doing too much like i don't want to see i said i don't want to see anybody at the laker game with your whole big ass out like i don't want to see anybody like i don't care what your body type is i you're doing too fucking much like chill out a little bit that's what used to bother me about her yeah um so did you read the details of what she's being accused of so dancers that she had Mm -hmm. and also um a filmmaker walked away from working with her Mm -hmm. because she was so nasty of a person um but I, i read about the banana thing so um, apparently they went to a club in Amsterdam and in the red light district and one and the girls were encouraged to touch the new dancers and they didn't want to and she pressured them and pressured them um, until they did this is allegedly pressured them until they did um, and they finally did because they were afraid of being fired the other thing was they were shooting um, dildos out of their hoo and There's a place in the red light district called the banana bar. Yep. And sex workers have bananas in their pussy and it's like a thing. You eat them. You eat them out. So um, she was accused of pressuring them to do that. At first it was like, okay, like this sounds fucking wild. Then you see interviews surfacing that she did at radio stations out there. Talking about she can't wait to go. Yeah, and it's very it, it's very telling. Like, wow, bitch, you really did, but and you the made gr- them do it. Yeah, like, the girl said that they were forced to catch dildos out of crotches and eat take bites of the banana out of vaginas. And, hella shit they just did not, not want to do. Um, because they felt like they would lose their, their, position. their position. Yeah, she also fat shamed a bunch of the dancers and and screamed in their face shit like don't you know dancers get fired for gaining weight and shit like the motherfucking nerve bitch i know you of all people are not fat shaming anyone it's hella disappointing it's so especially somebody that's been so vocal about body positivity right Um, and wanting her own big ass to be accepted how dare you it's it's hella disappointing yeah like what the fuck yeah it's disgusting and so she's being sued mm-hmm. um, and i seen some people sticking up for her i seen um a few people like i reserve the right to change my mind but i'm standing with lizzo and i think they're just mad they're not her friend 
bitch, shut up. Like, because don't do that. Like, you don't even, you don't know. So just keep your mouth shut if you don't know. Right. I'm not, yeah. exactly. I'm, That's my I want to see what's going to happen. Exactly. I'm not saying Unless you were there didn't. and you know. Like, yeah. I'm just not big on um, denying anyone's, any victims right. fucking claims. I'm not. Regardless and, of yeah. who. Um, and I don't give a fuck the, who it is. Yeah. Right. It could Who's be, accused? it could be Frida Kahlo. It could be somebody right. I love with everything. And like, I don't give a fuck. You know, right. you don't know that person like that inside out. And you weren't there so shut up i can't imagine being pressured to do something like that i just talked about how in my dance space i Mm -hmm. felt uncomfortable so i can't imagine you don't have dance space i mean in your fucking at the show you mean at the show no (laughs) on dirty dancing for those that don't know you don't have always said this patrick swayze goes this is your dance space this is my dance space you stay in yours you're not a dancer You're not a dirty dancer. I'm a fucking... I'll do the whole dirty (laughs) dance routine and sing the song. You're not a dirty dancer. I'm a dirty dancer. I'm a dirty, dirty dancer. No, you're not. A few people wrote to my story post and goes, where's where's homegirl shoes? Where's her... I said, do you know her? Do you know her? Do you listen to the show? Do you... We're lucky she wore them to the venue. Exactly. We're lucky we had any photos with the shoes on. I made it through Saturday with shoes. I made it through Sunday until about the last hour and a half. It was like, just take them off. Just fucking take Uh, them off. Gone. I don't want them no more. Um, I would like to take a minute to acknowledge the real star of both shows. Which one? Carolyn or Peace? Peace. Yes. Who do you think you are? She's a fucking queen. She shut down the show. Like, I'm talking about... Go away, scary mommy. Dancing, um had a microphone rbl like posse this? reposted because i tagged them yes and oh that was like a God. fan moment for me yes um at one point like during intermission you know music was being played don't give me no bam or weed was on Which she had the microphone classic. sitting with the big girls and decided she was going to be bobbing her head and like rapping the mic up into the mic so someone sent it and i reposted it and tagged rbl and they fucking reposted it and put heart like sent me I'm hearts fan, and girl. sent me prayer hands and shit for her and i'm like who does this girl think she is then sunday night i got pictures of her she had a little cup that was about this big yep. a little red cup yep filled with soda and had me kept pouring her shots had soda. them boots had red boots on and was on the dance floor by herself don't forget the bandana posing and dancing and would not get off the dance floor i while told we're you that's up. a star right there she is not tripping off crowds um she's yeah she's a true performer she really that's is who might got a dance space i'm gonna teach her about dance spaces <laughs> yes peace you're her got new you. favorite person I in the world you guys i was gonna be one day I um all she cries for crystal's house anytime we go to the car crystal's house crystal's house <laughs> crying crying um screaming crystal and i'm just like shut up <laughs> shut up i love her so much <laughs> yeah she was great carolyn yeah um carolyn. was number two Carolyn did the Black Power Fist. And Carolyn. said America number one. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Number one. Um, came up to our where we were, our, our seating area where we were. The boys are motherfuckers. Yeah, out of no. I'm like, what is she doing? I have, In the middle of the it's show. It's like progress photos I have of you telling her, go sit down, go sit down. And then you just put your head down and give up. And you're like, fuck it. And she comes all the way up. Because William and Richard thought it would be a good idea to encourage her. They kept telling her, they want you on the stage. They want you up there. So, in so the middle. So, she's like, hell yeah. I'm, I'm just going. like, peas. I don't have no shame. None. What? I'm go- We're all family. I'm going up there. Yes. Yeah, that was great. That was fucking hilarious. It was. It was. Um, Our throats are making noises and stuff. They're chortling. Um, did you see, okay, fuck Lizzo. Let me really quick before you go to the next thing. Let me say thank you to Lex. Um, she stayed and took photos. (gasps) Oh my God. That was not her job. It was not. not Thank you so much, Lex. Lex is our tattoo artist. Um, she's the one that has the flash of all the great HD fucking tattoos that they have created. Book with her. Go get them. But she went, you know, above and, and beyond yes. and became our photographer that night. Yes. So mm-hmm. thank you so much. Mm-hmm. We love you. Okay. Sorry. Um, 
aside from Lizzo, huh. I'm going to bring this up because we talked about it on the previous episode, but Cardi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's a weird bitch for that. Did you see Fucked what she up. actually did? Isn't isn't that funny? We I mentioned Monica. You're like, no, no. The girl hit the guy first, and we're um, I'm like, well, they both need to leave. Yeah. So we're like, I stand with Cardi. Like, bitch, don't throw shit on me. Yeah. And it turns out she asked the motherfucking crowd. This is the cringiest thing I I witnessed. So How dare she? It's like, I got to start shutting up when these videos same, come out because same. like we got to really see all angles before yep. we start running our mouth. Um, Did you see the girl go, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. After she threw the microphone at her. No, I didn't. What that I video saw is fucking what I saw oh, was the heart. bitch come out. She's whatever, wanting people to throw water on her pussy. Mm -hmm. It's hot, whatever. She bends over and shit. She's asking people to throw water on her pussy. She starts doing a few, a little bit of the song. Somebody throws a little bit of water. Oh, it hits her in the wrong area of her fucking body god forbid it wasn't even a lot no but you asked for the water i had your back because i thought you were being like fucking like fucked with mocked and like fucking yeah no you asked for the water then you got mad and fucking got all crazy and threw the microphone hella fucking hard and then hit the wrong person and the girl Um, that threw the water so there's a video i saw of she was apologizing oh my god she was like i'm so sorry it's a black girl she's follow pretty she's like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry like but you asked for this boo like what the fuck yeah and the poor fucking girl that did it is like oh my god i'm hella sorry i'm hella sorry she's still on stage talking hella shit and then it became a thing so then later that night she's in a club performing and she gets mad at the dj she launches the microphone again same style same fashion and i'm like girl is this what you gotta do to get some fucking attention in the media or something because now you're being cringy it's really like now it's embarrassing ostentatious and fucking i don't like it yeah i don't like it so she's a weird bitch for that stunt i'm sorry and you owe that girl an apology. No, for and real. And definitely the you one you hope clocked she don't in the head. Sue you. Exactly. You owe both of them an apology. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, ugh. Yeah, I was like sinking into the bushes. Like, oh my god, I, we just talked about this, and this bitch fucking asked for the water. So you know, I downloaded a Word of the Day app, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna play with you. I need you. <laughs> this one was worth sharing. What? <laughs> Herkle Durkle. Get, Do you know not, what a Herkle Durkle is? I want you to stop talking to me. I need you to know. A 200-year-old <laughs> Scottish term meaning to lounge in bed. You Herkle Durkle a lot. <laughs> you need to stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You Herkle Durkle meaning, quite a bit. <laughs> meaning to lounge in bed long after it's time to get up. Happiness is Herkle Durkling. Herkle Durkle. This is just shows how weird white people are. No. How fucking and I have Scottish in me too. How fucking weird. Yeah, a herkle a her, for real. A her, now you're playing games. That's but, a word. But this but this day and age, I've seen it online. White people want to get mad if someone says finna, right? They're like, that's not a word. That's not a word. You but put you're out like, here with herkle durkling. Oh, but people can't say finna. You could go straight to Scottish hell. Oh my god, herkle durkle. Stop, just saying that makes me mad. Herkle Durkle. You're being so unserious. That whoever is whoever like, made that up needs to stop. Was drunk. And people just rolled with it. Get the fuck out of here, You've Herkle been Herkle Durkling a long time. <laughs> You're quite a Herkle Durkler. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Um, <laughs> in some bad news, but no. also could be good news. Hmm. Could turn into good news. There's a massive Taco Bell class action lawsuit going on right now. Let's get on it. Are you aware? No. There's a man. I forgot to put I his there name. enough. I need to be part of it. Yes, I do too. Um, I didn't include his name. I should have. But there is a big class action lawsuit going on right now because Taco Bell skimps on the contents. And I've personally been victimized by this the other night. Um, it was like maybe Friday night before the show or something. I got some tacos and one of the tacos had only lettuce and shredded cheese in it and no meat whatsoever. And I was like, oh, they're hella playing games. I'm so fat. I ate it anyway with fire sauce. But wait, that's how I order mine. But 
a smidge of meat. The pictures always make them look yeah. fully loaded, right? The Mexican pizza, the Crunchwrap Supreme is oh, named. Oh, so he's a big hungry. He's like, mine doesn't look like the picture. But it it's giving you a false um, idea of how much protein you're getting, right? So, I mean, it, it's not, you know, if you're calculating, because, you know, they give you a nutritional breakdown on the website and all that shit. Yeah. But if you're not filling it properly to where it's supposed to be, like you're actually skimping, it's not going to have the protein that we might be calculating. You're for. not giving what if me we're counting, my wheat germ meat. What if we're <laughs> counting macros or something, whatever that <laughs> is. Taco Bell. And we, we, I'm saying like, if we're, if I'm counting protein con- intake, whatever, and you're skimping me, like, like, knock it off get fill make it look like it's supposed to so there's all these pictures of like what it's supposed to look like and then he posts all these sad tv dinner looking pictures Great. of what he actually receives and it looks bad it's a bad look no, for taco for bell real. step it the fuck up but you know what's gonna happen if he wins they're gonna start filling him up and mm-hmm. they're gonna raise their fucking prices i mean I don't know. Now I, we got I want it to be what I want. 99 tacos. I, I don't just, even know what they are anymore. I, I think they're $1.99 right now. I remember when they were a dollar. 79 cents, girl, remember? Yeah, yeah. Fuckers. And like 99 cents for a taco yes. supreme, I think. We're old. Yeah. yeah. But Love it could it. turn into a good thing. So shout out to whoever that man is for doing the work in the streets and in getting the, the fucking, <laughs> getting their shit up to par. Right. Um one thing that irritated me that i don't know people are irritated for two different reasons but did you see brats dolls are coming out with a line they've never done this before of a celebrity like inspired line of brats dolls okay so again they've never done this before of all the celebrities in the world to pick maybe like that were popping during the real brats era Perhaps, no, they decided to go with a Kylie Jenner line of Bratz Come dolls, on. who was not even who was of two. age when Bratz were popping. People are very angry about Good. that. Also, a lot of black women are very fucking angry because these dolls are black. These are black girl dolls. Yes. And these are, Ky- it's different looks of Kylie Jenner and they're all black girls. And it's like, What? So Why? not only should y'all not be doing a like, I read the comments like so many people were like, and I'm I've, sure they contacted Kylie Jenner before they did it, and oh, she could have been like, no, how about we pick somebody else that's black? Maybe of course. Um, how about we make it look like me? Like how about we lighten its skin and make it a white girl that I am? Like what? Like she's not even a mixed race person like she's a a white white girl and these are like little brown dolls in different outfits and hairstyles her brother's name is brody like yeah (laughs) jenner like yeah so brats dolls you drop the ball on that one and that's really disappointing i already don't want like peas playing with brats dolls or whatever because i don't want to um i would rather have like they're too hoochie they're like those um, LOL dolls. Like, absolutely fucking not. I, Our kids loved Bratz no. dolls. We, I don't think my girls had any Bratz dolls, but I remember they loved yeah, no. them. They loved the Bratz cartoon. Yeah. Loved them. Yeah, no. But that was that was a disappointment. Um, another thing that you probably already know about, I think I mentioned it briefly in another episode, was um, Ozempic mm-hmm. and the other one, the, the other brand of the same drug or medicine yeah, or whatever diabetes. um it, so what it's doing is it's causing stomach paralysis mm. so i read up on it this time and what it's it's making your stomach um no longer able to pass food from your stomach to your intestine it's like l- your your machinery doesn't work anymore dude so it's literally a, a big, diabetes medication that's a big 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 risk for some fast weight loss and now you have a colostomy bag that's what i was gonna say how are what now what do you have to do to push to get that going now because your machinery doesn't work anymore so what's mm. gonna get to moving that for you i don't fucking know are that's you gonna have cool. to get an artificial butthole on the side of your stomach that stinks are we so um fat phobic -phobic and worried about being a stick figure that we're willing to risk risk going to the bathroom stomach paralysis yeah that's that's not a minor headache um side effect carolyn nausea no carolyn had a colostomy bag um it was for about a year and a half 
that was a rough ass year and a half and uh, I'm not being ableist. Um, listen, my heart goes out to anybody that has to daily um, deal with that because yeah. Carolyn's bags would rip if she, like she had gas um, and didn't catch it in time. The bag would get so fucking big that um, it, it like would inflated? pop. Like inflated? Like a balloon? Yep. It would pop. Um, at one point, the bags weren't fitting correctly and the in-home it nurse wasn't listening and it would leak. Now listen. I'll throw up. What's going on is when you have a stoma on your stomach and a stoma is basically the fake butthole, right? The butthole they make on your stomach. When you have that, it's bypassing. It's not, your food is not going all through your intestines anymore. So that stomach acid, those acids from your food and the digestion are really, really potent. So it took one leak and Carolyn had burns <gasps> on her fucking stomach that looked like raw hamburger oh, meat. Oh, no. She wound up in the hospital twice for that. I think, ew, I think you told all this before and yes, I forgot. Yes, I did. It was <sighs> like, that's not a minor thing to risk by wanting to lose fucking 40 pounds. No, it's fucking not. Like, if anything, go get lipo. If you need to get rid of, of some fat that quick or whatever. Fast. Like, I don't know. Fast. I would go get some lipo or something. Like, do not Cut fucking. out soda. Cut out refined sugars. Yeah. Up your protein. Get active. Yes. Move around. Move yes. your body around and eat better. I'm telling you, the the best way I lost weight was eating right and fucking working out three times yeah. a week like it really and, fucking and if you works. don't if you're like me and you don't want to do that um lipo and intermittent <laughs> fasting yeah intermittent fasting i ate what the fuck i wanted to eat i was still eating taco bell but only during my certain feeding window my <laughs> six hours or whatever i allowed myself and yeah. i lost 13 pounds in a month yes like literally you don't have to lose hella weight hella fast with this weird drug that could cause you to risk some serious ass shit like that yeah like that don't fuck around please yeah don't. and i have two friends one of which i know is listening please don't risk that it, it, that's just mm -mm. that's a gamble i'm not willing to take no no stomach paralysis that just the more i read about it i was like this is fucking serious like that's scary no fuck that um so you remember the Lori Vallow case? Um, mm -mm. Lori Vallow Daybell. She's the one who remember her two kids, Tylee and J. I think JT. They were missing. Um, JT was like seven. Tylee was like sixteen. Remember they were missing, and her and her new husband <gasps> yes. were off in Hawaii, and then they ended up finding the children's bodies buried in his backyard. So she was convicted oh good life. the mother good yep life it never should be getting out it should be death penalty for sure for sure what um, about the boyfriend his trial hasn't concluded yet they both why can't they get death penalty because we're fucking pussies um but they are facing charges in another state that does have the death penalty i believe i hope so i hope there's a chance for it yeah i really Excuse me, I really do. I remember seeing pictures of those siblings, and they just look like such good kids. They and did. like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And there's an older what brother. What was the reason for it? So, she got involved with this dude, Chad Daybell, who was married himself. They offed his wife, right? There's, it, It's a really great, if you want to find... Um, I watched something, and the brother, the older brother, was talking a lot about yes. the family. And if if you want a good, like, rabbit hole, true crime case that has, like cults and religion mm -hmm. and fucking mental health issues and hella turns like so oh them poor babies but weird religious shit she started believing this wild shit a mental illness is definitely involved yeah um but yeah she, it's just so weird to get another person on board with that shit like i've had partners that are down for whatever that could probably rob a bank with me maybe kill somebody that raped me maybe some shit like that but yeah. like to kill my kids and shit i'm not gonna find a partner that's down for that and bury them in your backyard and like let's kill your wife too and like let's what like that y'all are crazy as fuck they killed quite a fucking few people yeah they're Ugh, wild I'm so glad they got caught so his trial the husband's trial starts in april of next year mm -mm. piece of shit gross um want to hear something funny always 
sex work just makes me really proud um I've been listening to some sex work Because it's not podcasts. easy work, man. It's not easy work, but it's like, if you do it and you get into the r- rhythm of it and what, like, it can be really fucking lucrative. Absolutely. And I feel like we're really lucky because m- there's a lot of men that are bitter yeah. haters because they can't do it. And I just feel like we're really, um, we're blessed to be able to do it and like to be like just tax free and like taken care of and self sufficient and just we have that option to fall back on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It may not be for everybody, right? But like I really feel thankful men that it's could, an option. You know these bitter, um, crybaby men that speak ill of it. They could do it. They could make their there's own not dollar, as many, but there's not as many outlets. But for they'd men. rather be angry, yeah, instead of. And they would have to be gay mostly because yeah. there's not really a market for women to cash out for men like that because men are at our disposal every fucking where we go. So why would we? You know what I mean? Um, so it is set up mostly for women, and I'm thankful for that. Um, but I was gonna make you laugh and say that a blonde wig is in my future. <laughs> <laughs> Only because um, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts, sex worker podcasts lately and like um, watching some shows and like some TikToks and shit. And even the shittiest of blonde wigs, like I don't know how to put one on. Can't be that hard. Like there's somewhat drawstrings. We can figure it out. We'll figure it out. Some have combs, some have drawstrings, whatever. We'll get it together. Right. But like, that's really all it takes. Like you could put a fucking blonde wig on a pig and she's gonna make some money and i'm not what kidding when i say it that it's blonde is it's, it like the american dream it's type the thing? american dream thing it's the european beauty standard mm. it's the fucking but it's it's foolproof it's really and i've said before i had a blonde girl that i worked with she wouldn't shave her legs she'd be musty sometimes she wouldn't shave her armpits yeah. like i used to have to get on her about hygiene and shit which is hella annoying but that bitch made fucking skinny bank, blonde um, and people that i danced with and shit like if they slapped on a blonde wig like no makeup is even necessary you don't have to like no effort, effort. is needed what so you could have dirty feet you could ha- it don't fucking matter just have a blonde wig that is literally the cheat code and crazy? it's just been reinforced and i've heard so many other people laughing Let's about do it, it i'll lately. help you figure out the way yeah and it's just i'm just gonna do it and i'm gonna see Fuck and it. i'm gonna document what the changes are because that's I've a never, great experiment i've been so against it my whole life right because i'm just like no like no i'm not a fucking blonde right. i'm not i'm not partial to blondes i don't right. you know what i mean like no i just won't i just the refusal but i'm at a point now where i'm like let's fucking do it and see what happens right you know it'll, it'll be really fucking interesting <laughs> yeah um to document from a social experiment yes. standpoint yeah like yeah. i want some blonde girl benefits too i can't even imagine you blonde no You've i've never, never been ever been blonde. i have had at one point i had a blonde like my whole bangs and i had a, a fat section yeah through the top of my hair that was blonde that's the closest i've ever come to it and that didn't even last long. i'm excited to see you with the blonde so wig. yeah that's gonna be funny but fuck it that's it's coming soon and that's the cheat code and i'm just gonna show you guys like you don't even have to be nice you don't even have to brush your teeth like you don't have to do Dude. anything but be bland i i wish i was joking or exaggerating but i'm fucking not and you could charge top prices and get no fucking haggling and what it's it's really bizarre it is yeah. but coming soon i can't wait mm-hmm. in great wonderful amazing news what henrietta Lacks family tell me, uh, tell me who that reached is first. a fucking okay so remember henrietta Lacks was the black woman decades ago who they sneakily used her dna it's been used in scientific research it's been used in vaccines her cells were the golden cells you know like oh they helped um advance medicine advance like so much and her family she's a black woman and they her, took it without her permission and or? her family was never and she was never compensated nothing well her family just Sued. received a historic settlement oh <gasps> good so at least i mean she's not alive to reap the benefits but at least her family is because they still use her fucking cells to this very fucking day so disgusting 
And that, when I read that, <gasps> That's great. brought me fucking joy. Do you know how much money they're getting? No. But it's a historical yeah, amount. It's, so it's, that's, the headline was... Um, I think any amount is a historical amount, probably, for, uh, for making right or wrong a right. theft. Um, Henrietta Lacks family reaches historic settlement wins compensation for her stolen cells. Thank God. Stolen. Yeah. Now pay everyone else that you've done fucking weird uh, science projects and experiments oh. on. Do that. Pay everyone. Oh my God. I was Incarcerated li- women. Everyone. Right. Okay. So I was listening to, um, I there's a YouTube channel I listen to called Let's Read and it's like true crime um, mm-hmm. compilations where they give like two minute stories right mm-hmm. and there's different subjects and all type of shit well i was listening to one last night and they were talking about mk ultra mm-hmm. right yeah. and remember that was the hallucinogenic mm-hmm. sneaky fucking experiment they did yeah well there's so much shape apparently it's been insinuated or um I don't know if it's documented, but Charles Manson, um, the Unabomber, Theodore K- K- Ted Kaczynski, were part of that fucking project. And so I want to look more into it. They listed like five fucking people that were like known for wow. crimes mm-hmm. and had said they were involved. Yes. They had been fucking test subjects. So, like, at that point, I think the government owes the victims of those people. Right. You want to be playing games with people's brains and shit and and running these weird tests and experiments, and then people suffer because of it. And so reckless. Like, you're going to give somebody with severe mental health issues a fucking LSD. Fucking LSD. Have you lost your fucking mind? It's so it's so ridiculous. Like, what was that Operation Nightingale or whatever? Where weren't they in San Francisco and they were having the hookers dose people yes. without their knowledge and fucking do experiments? That was with part that. of the like, MK Ultra umbrella. All of that. Like, what are y'all thinking? And who's okaying all this shit? And it's just like, <laughs> I don't. Really that's why I don't put nothing past the fucking government, and no one should, because they do what the fuck they want to do. That yeah, that was <clears> fucked <throat> up. Mm-mm. I'll have to figure out. Um, well, I think I saved it, the episode. So if anyone wants it, just ask. I'll yeah, give it to that you. That sounds interesting. It was. Like, holy shit. Um, I have an interesting question that I don't know what made me think about. Oh, somebody, I think on a show I listened to, they asked this, but about women. Um, anyway, if they lined up, this might be not that interesting with you. I might need to ask somebody else, but (laughs) if they lined up all of your ex's dicks, um, would you be able to tell them apart? Yeah. Yes. You would. Yeah. Oh, well, my ex-boyfriends, whatever dicks that you fucked, lined them all up. Every dick you've ever fucked. Would you be able to tell them apart? I think the question was ex partners, but we're gonna. You haven't had that, that many. So partners, if it's ex boyfriends, I've had like four or five boyfriends in my life. I could absolutely tell them apart. God, that's so weird to me. If but people I've banged is very different. Yeah, but only five boyfriends, like, like serious boyfriends. Because yeah. you got to think, my boyfriend before Mark was. Well, it, it'd be long term relationships. I think that's yeah, why it was almost yeah. six years. I feel like I've had 500 boyfriends. It's weird. Like, I, I mean, at least you have some experience because I'd be feeling sorry pe- for people that don't Please have any. Don't feel sorry for me. I, I've banged <laughs> plenty. Plenty. Okay. okay, good. Okay. Fuck you, Mark. Shut okay. up. But no. Um, all right. So we'll, we won't say boyfriends. We'll say all the dicks that you fucked. Would you be able to tell them apart? Me? I'm like, absolutely fucking not. Even if we lined up like the last five years, I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Partners? No. But I will say I could pull Mark's penis out of a fucking crowd. That's your everyday penis. So I guess that's that one, different. yes, for sure. Exclude his, because that's your everyday. Of course, you're, you'll identify that one. So people I bang know. I have dicks in my phone that I have to be like, who did who's, this come wait, from? Who's wieners? This no, again? for real. And yeah. I have to be, I've done it. And I've been like, yeah. um, cause I, I back up my photos to an outside app. Right. <laughs> and I've gone through look, especially since I've started only fans, I go through looking for past nudes, yeah. video clips, shit like that, that I can post. And I come across dicks and I'm like, whose dick is this? Wait, this one this is one nice. Come from? This is fucking nice. Did I fuck it? Of 
course I fucked it. But like, <laughs> but like I'm like, who's is this? And I, it, right? it's happened more than once. So when I heard them talking about it, it made me laugh because um, the guys were like, fuck no, I'm not going to know whose pussies these are. No. And um, the, some of the people in the room were like, are you sure? Because like, pussies be feeling different or what and they were like no there's no chance and i was thinking thank god because no chance i know if you remove mark from the equation i can't there's yeah. no fucking way like if there's no identifiable no tattoos no. or anything showing i'm there, no there's way. no no chance. no fucking way. no chance i'm gonna know who like i've had one not too long ago that was deformed like okay i'll fucking yeah that one shit yeah. like that yeah. you know what i'm saying like the yeah. deformed one ones For i've sure. had but like if you're just an average you know what i'm saying no. regular one no there's no no Mm -mm. nope i guess that's for the people that that just have a few twos and fews because i ain't (laughs) girl i ain't one of them there's no no way i'm not one. there's no fucking way i thought that was funny yeah it is and it's nice to know that fucking dudes fucking oh yeah yeah that was comforting because i was like thank god makes sense i'm not the only one they stick their fucking in anything Wiener yeah and, and couch that, cushion. that point was made too like For guys sure. will fucking fuck anything i have a write-in um i think i, do I need too. to find it real quick let me make sure i don't fucking have one i am so tired i'm over here struggling to keep my eyes open i want taco bell hella bad now i'm hungry i'm over here fuck like yeah i want taco bell that's where i'm headed yeah i'm fucking hungry um okay i'm gonna read this one okay um i'm wondering if i can get a birthday shout out for my sister asha Mm. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, August 20th. Is that your birthday? Day after. You're a terrible friend. Every the year re- she says, <laughs> is that your birthday? This is why. I have a sister that I think is the 20th. Yep, you I do. I have a cousin that I think is the 20th. And I think one of my grandmas was the 20th. You do. So that's why. And then you, the 19th. So I, of course, I'm like not keeping up with all of y'all. Um, sorry, Asha. Okay. Shout out for my sister, Asha, um, August 20th. She's a huge fan of y'all podcast and adores you and is actually the one who put me on with y'all. I'd appreciate that so much and I know it'll make her day. She's a religious listener. Mm. She might also want me to add she's a bomb ass esthetician in the Bay and it would really gag her to do some work with you. Um, And her social media is skincare underscore daddy. So I just want to make sure you know it's you we're talking about, girl. Love it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I hope hope it's a good one um all right i might have another one so i'm gonna scroll while you okay do yours okay so trigger warning there's talk of unaliving so okay i hope this is where i can submit a write-in um trigger warning sorry if this is a little long i need to give some background so you can fully understand the situation you're welcome crystal lol (laughs) it's my girl uh my boyfriend and i have been together for two years and he's been very open and honest with me about his emotions he has a young daughter and has been going to court for the past several years to fight a case and for the rights to still be able to see his daughter he's a great father and because of his past the court we already did this i'm sorry did we do it? yeah we did i'm sorry did we yeah oh tricked you sorry. i'm sorry tricked all of you i'm sorry all right well i have another one that i know we didn't do we did and that was the one where we were like i'm sorry but don't let him put that on you and yep. i don't give a fuck um yep. that's not your problem yep. and don't let him put that on you sorry guys i need to uh go through my phone but okay so i know we didn't do this one because it is long okay um let me get my talking voice not my singing voice ready Hello, Pat and Crystal. I wanted to share something creepy that happened to me yesterday. I know the listeners will enjoy it, although I'm still weirded out, LOL. So a good friend of mine, we'll call her Sam, works for a staging company, and she sometimes brings me along to help. I really enjoy this side because this side job because I get to see the inside of many beautiful homes, including the one we worked in today. This house is in SF is in as, and is selling for nearly $15 million. Oh my God. And apparently it belonged to the De Young brothers. It is huge and gorgeous. Anyway, about 10 of us showed up to help with the removal of the staging. And it was a busy day. We were all running around the entire house, packing up decorations and bubble wrapping all the furniture to make it easier for the movers. Um, 
not only is this house easy to get lost in, I had gotten an eerie feeling the moment I stepped foot in that house. Hmm. The entire home was so cold. I thought the AC was on the entire time, but it was never turned on. Hmm. So at one point, Sam and I take a smoke break and we're outside talking about personal things when one of the movers interrupts us and starts asking me questions about work. Sam walks away and I assume she did that because the guy had maybe heard what she was talking about and got shy. After he and I finished talking, I walked back inside to look for Sam so we could finish our conversation. As I am looking for her, I see her walk by going towards this downstairs living room playroom. So I follow behind and yell, Sam, wait for me. There's a small bathroom downstairs and I see her walk in and close the door. Mind you, I'm talking to her this whole time <clears throat> while I wait outside the bathroom door. Can you tell your dogs to shut up? As I'm in the middle of talking to her, I hear her yelling my name upstairs. When I peek to see who's calling my name, it's freaking Sam. She was upstairs the whole time. Mm -mm. I instantly felt scared and sick to my stomach. I ran upstairs so fast and wanted to throw up. I told Sam I saw her walking downstairs, same clothes, same everything. I saw her walk into the bathroom, and I was waiting for her outside the door <clears throat> when she popped up upstairs. She looked at me all scared and swore on her life she had not been downstairs at all. We did go back downstairs to check who the fuck had went in the bathroom, and no one was there. I'm still creeped out because I actually saw this myself. Mm -mm. I guess I'll playing games. I guess I'll forever wonder who that was. You know who it was. That's fucking crazy. A ghost posing as your friend. And that's a big fucking house. Yeah. Wow. And if it's, I would want to go spend the night there now. And if it's in the city, chances are, um, and it belonged to the Young brothers, chances are it's an old home. Yeah, yeah, for with sure. With a lot of history. Mm hmm. Those are That's cool interesting. Ones. Ask if we can have a sleepover there. Tell them we want a tour. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I would be freaked the fuck out. Definitely. And the temperature thing, like they say, when spirits are around, you feel a cold chill. Um, yeah. It's usually isolated. It's not like in the whole, you know what I mean? It'll be stick out like different and also smells. Oh, my God. <clears throat> um. So really quick. Um, if you go on your Facebook and you go to the search bar and you type in chicken soup, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're just looking for chicken soup. Mm -hmm. It pops up this message. I screenshotted it. It says child sexual abuse is illegal. We think your search might be associated with child sexual abuse, child sexual abuse or viewing sexual images or videos of children can lead to imprisonment and other severe personal consequences. And it says some more. And no chicken soup comes up. But apparently... No recipes. Mm -mm. No. That seems like a very... You have to put chicken soup recipe. So I guess the reason chicken soup is flagged, right? For mm -hmm. child porn is because of the C and the S. Somebody was saying in the comments um, of another post, I was reading the comments. I don't know. Oh my God. Yeah. So I need a moderator job. So you need to look up chicken soup recipes. Don't just put chicken soup. You're going to get your fucking account I taken away. I said great because I saw this post that was like, don't look up chickens. Don't search chicken soup on Facebook. So the first thing I do is go yes, search you do chicken it. soup. Mm -hmm. I'm like, great. Now I'm on a fucking watch list. Yep, you are. They're like, she's given us enough trouble. Immediate <laughs> get her out of here. Take her fucking account. Take her account for life. Immediately what I did was put... Chicken Just kidding. Soup. <laughs> Help. I put chicken soup recipes and then I went and clicked on one Good. of them and pretended I was <laughs> screenshot one, yeah. left a comment. Yes. <laughs> this one looks great. I guys. liked it. I made sure I was, I'm going to make this. One. I was looking for recipes. Duh. You want to hear something that pissed me off? And I'm like, Fuck. not already. Jesus Christ. Right. Um, I posted a clip on my OnlyFans a couple <laughs> days ago of me pissing out of my there. And out I, of my there. And like I, you have another place to pee from. Like I'm censored. Right. And I put a heart over it. Right. Mm -hmm. So, of course, if you want the full thing, tip me. I'll send it to you. Right. Um, I've done that before with other things. Makes and I'm sense. like, okay. So a couple people, a few people hit me for it. 
I sent it out five times. And what you can do is if you send private content, content, <laughs> content, content that you want someone to pay for, you can <clears throat> attach a price before they're able to open it. Right. Yeah. So I did that five times. OK. And I went back um, next time I logged in and they were like, hey, like, are you going to send that? And I looked and I'm like, I sent it. I know I sent it. So I sent it again five more times. So I'm like, what's going on? It's not there. So I'm like, mm, all right. But my shit is still posted on my regular feed with the heart. So last night, hella late, um, I went and it was still not in the messages. And then I noticed I had all these alerts and I was like, what the fuck? So I click on it because they weren't there before. And I had all these flag notifications that are like maybe 10 of them. And they're like, we remove this. We remove this. We now acknowledge it. Mark it as red. So you acknowledge it. And it's like 10 of them. And I'm Why? like, God damn it. So I had to go look through their community guidelines. And for some reason urinating and fucking defecating and shit is not but you can put two fists up your pussy i could put a tree trunk in my pussy and and fucking you can smoke a cigarette all with over it, it. but mm-hmm. don't you make, dare make my butthole talk i could fucking don't go I could squirt i could squirt all over the walls i could do what what wow but first of all how do you even know it's pee because you can't really tell i could have sucked up fucking apple juice in that motherfucker it could be i mean it's clear it could be fucking squirt right how do you know how do you so i could like write to them maybe and be like how do you fuck my thing is don't suspend my account now now i'm like i got 10 fucking Fucking violations you're in trouble you're in trouble you're you're starting off great on OnlyFans like i do on facebook yes and i was so pissed like god damn it and then it's like you're not supposed to like um share your phone number and shit like that so i don't want any messages to get flagged for that like i'll send it to you direct give me your number type shit so i just told the people like write me on social media and like i'll try to send it from there because like what the fuck but wow don't get all prude now only fans do not that actually reality i saw i I understood pedophilia incest there's a list i saw okay i get that cool whatever if you say so but like um (laughs) i really don't feel like incest and urine needing should be on that fucking list (laughs) i don't like why wow you're being quite judgy no that makes me mad like why like everybody pees and I did it in a sexy way. But you're not allowed to get horny. You're not allowed to be horny and do it. I did it in a very artful way. You put your leg <laughs> up and we're like. I made it pretty. And why are y'all tripping? It, wow. it offended me. And I was mad. So. That makes me um, pissed off. Do not delete my fucking account. And I'm like, should I write to someone? So if any of you guys um, have only fans accounts that have had shit flagged before, is it necessary? Do you think that I should try to dispute it or that? I, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want them to be like, this is your fucking 10th strike already. And you've only been here a month. That's crazy. Like you can put a beer bottle up your ass on there. Anything anything i think even the fucking um island boys are making out on there and that's fucking incest you can put things up your ass but don't you let nothing come out do not because we are not this is not that kind of party what enter only you're judgy as fuck i could put some shit in my urethra though i bet i could put it in an umbrella um alcohol like those people were doing (sighs) i bet they'll let me do that that's but i can't up. really oh, wow i guess if y'all want to act like that if you say so i was pissed wow mm-hmm. that's fucked hey the the island boys making out gives me the fucking i ick. like it i don't know oh, why my, i like it i, I, like, I hate them <laughs> they're weirdos yeah but like, it's they like bug um, me and it's like i don't know you guys came out of the same pussy and you're fucking they've touched each other's dicks for sure if they're tongue kissing I'm like i hope so um they they explained it like we came out of the same womb like it's different it's different than it would be with another sibling just because they have a bond a twin bond that's so different that they're not tripping off doing it a twin fucking bond so i'm kind of like okay i understand <laughs> of course i i reposted it on my story i was like let's go i can't stand them i feel like they're they're weirdos for sure but i but but i am with the weird shit so yeah no the uh, 
it's just so taboo you know what i'm saying well yeah no i'm talking about them being appropriators like the fucking oh they're annoying they're fucking the, every the tattoos or what they're they don't have the big wicks in their hair anymore that was appropriating that, then they had all the gold fucking teeth they, they have fucking teeth their little extra accent they don't have an extra accent no they don't so that's the good thing they're fucking they would be annoying if they had that but they don't so you i need don't to, like them you need to watch some more of them so you can get familiar no fucking thank you you need to watch them make out and talk about Bitch, it they had fucking <laughs> their hair that was like number one they got rid of it it wasn't that long ago so <sighs> they're still on the show they're just annoying as fuck i don't like them hmm. and they put their tongue in each other's mouth I guess if you want to be judgy too. I'm being judgy on that one. 100%. You can pee all you want, bitch. <laughs> but them motherfuckers, they can't do shit I in my eyes. I don't know. They're on the no-no list. Um, I just want to say the Claremont twins. That, are you familiar with them? Are those the black women? Mm-hmm, that had tons Hella of plastic surgery. surgery. Yeah, yeah. They used to be dancers for Lil Debbie. I don't know if y'all know that. Mm-mm. Fun I- fact. But, um, okay, so they're, like, you know, known for... They used to be sex workers. Um, they're models. They're um, influencers. What would they be called? Like, socialites, I yeah. guess. All that. Um, but, like, they've made out before, too. Yeah. And I just think it's a little weird because they weren't, like, ew. When I twins, didn't even know they There's made also out. the Double Dose twins. They're, those are some more... Or, um, I don't know thick who that ass, is. big booty Instagram models. They, I think, have done some little incesty stuff before too. But I think because there's they're women, there's a double standard. It's always, it's always more acceptable yeah. when women do it. Yeah, I still think it's gross. Uh, fucking so I'm kind of like kissing. I'm not mad. Yeah. Mm. No, it's <laughs> not, bitch. Maybe it's because I have fucking siblings I'm close yeah, with. Yeah, true. So and I don't have any. I mean, I have some, but I never grew up with them. So yeah, it's so different. like the thought of that, yeah. it fucking makes me... In my brain, I'm still very much an only child So because I, I don't have that bond with a sibling like that. Yeah. It's, so maybe that's why. That's why. That's why <laughs> that's I'm why like, it's your kink. put your tongue in their mouth, do it slow. No, because <laughs> if you're fucking close, the thought of it... It grosses fuck, you out. Oh my okay. God. Oh my, I'd want to die. Is there any price that you could be paid to no. make out with William? Nope. And billions. No, I was just going to say like, if a fucking criminal broke in and was like, you have to kiss him or I'm <laughs> blowing your fucking head off. You're like, put it in my mouth. Blow it. Blow it, bitch. <laughs> take it off. Because I, I don't want to live after that. With, Even with a billion dollars tax no, free? No, I don't. I wouldn't be able to live. How am I going to look my brother in the face? How are we going to be close? You could buy a new brother at that no. point. No. Fuck, really fuck no and i'm not just saying that like th- no a I, billion my, dollars my mental stability cannot handle a, a brother make out bitch <laughs> i wouldn't want to live anymore my, i'm like for a billion i would make out with carolyn for a billion no, dollars bitch, like, and i would root you on <laughs> fucking sucker tongue like i would be into it i'm not doing it <laughs> <laughs> not with richard either fuck. his neanderthal no. strength <laughs> You guys aren't that related. Like, he's Neanderthal. There is some distance. Fuck no, I wouldn't even do it with John. And I didn't grow up with John, bitch. No. A billion dollars. No. I think Mark would do it for a billion dollars. Mark can do it. Ma- I think They're not related. For, he can do oh, it. Oh, true. Yeah. Okay. I would be like, about- do it, babe. Just do it. I won't even fucking just be mad. Do it, please. <laughs> what about... I'm trying to think of another scenario. I can't even ask you because you'll do it. <laughs> so like, there's no one i won't do it with. you're like bunny get over here we're getting this close bread. your eyes it'll be over fast. Right, we're getting this bread we gotta get this bag close your fucking eyes <laughs> put on this blindfold and shut up no it's that reminds me of no i'll probably oh keep my that story God. To no one time my brother who we if you guys know him you know he's like a huge class clown he was in prison one time and um, I had sent him some money for his birthday and they had cell phones in there and he called me and he was like thanking me or whatever. But he was like, can you send me a hey, can you do me a favor and can you send me um, like another hundred or whatever? And I was like, no, I'm not. I just sent you money. And um, he was like, well, if you don't do it, like they're going to rape me. And I said, well, just close your eyes. It's going to be over fast. That's <laughs> crying, laughing and hung up on me no i wouldn't i wouldn't tell my kids that but listen a billion tax-free dollars i'm gonna get real fucking weird Uh, uh, 
I, I might get weird, but I'm not getting weird with fucking family, <laughs> bitch. No, not even John. No, you're stupid. You don't even know him like that. I know. Listen, my mental you health is already like shaky, that. bitch. But knowing we share Billy's DNA is gross. That that deal breaker. It's gross. It's fucking. It's I don't gross. understand. My mental health isn't strong enough to fucking live on after it. It's just not. I'm going off the Carquinez bridge, make bitch. Out with Carolyn. No, <laughs> a billion dollars. No. You could go buy a fucking island and live in solitude and peace and cigarettes. And be fucked up in the head every day. It wouldn't be fucking... It wouldn't be peace on earth, bitch. Then I, I would be on crank. I, all right, fine. But if you say so, I won't press it anymore. <laughs> no, John, no, Carolyn. Wait, you're no fun. You're no fun. <laughs> you're no fun. You don't want to fu- fuck any of your family. <laughs> Just say you're no fun. God damn. <laughs> whatever Fuck i'll reserve you. this questioning for any future <laughs> guests we have no for real i need to know who's on my fucking side who's like who's open-minded in a good time <laughs> whatever listen all no. right i think we're done are we done we're done i want taco bell right now it sounds good okay all right you guys that's okay it. thank oh, you wait Rizzle. you know what just kidding tricked you please go subscribe to our youtube oh yeah because yeah we got, we got to grow it we got to grow it so that we could start going live and like doing things there too yeah yeah maybe she'll fuck her maybe family on there you never make out a little bit i don't Join know patreon <laughs> i'm not close to any of them, them. <laughs> i'm not close to anyone in my family <laughs> It's like strangers. <laughs> right? Maybe that's why I'm not tripping. Maybe. I don't have no strong bond yeah, with any but, relatives. Yeah, if you think I'm like, about it. I've, you know, yeah. yeah. I think that that could it make, probably yeah. plays a part. Hell yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um. All right, you guys. And so, yep. We haven't got no no review. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't. Can we have a review? Throw us a review. It's gonna be my birthday soon. Please. I would like that um and that's it you guys so okay. easy go to bed with your twin <laughs> <laughs>